a proof of parallel lines here. And I'm going to have to kind of flip back and forth between what we're doing. So you'll first be given this in bold. Given line one parallel to line two, we're going to reflect over line one and then reflect over line two. Remember, this is written backwards right here because it's kind of like working from the inside out. We're going to do this with point A. Now, if we read through, I've written down the steps for all of these. Um, we're going to draw a horizontal line through line A. So that's our first step. We're going to take a line. And we're going to make it so that it goes through line A. And it's perpendicular to those um, two other lines as best we can get there. Okay, step two, make the distance between A and line 1x. So we are going to make the distance between A and line 1x. It's, we don't know the distance. This is a proof, so we're not measuring it. So that's what we are getting there. Step two, make the distance between A and line 2y. So we're making this y. They're different distances. A is not in the center, so we can do that. Okay, step th four, reflect A over line one. So we're taking A, we're reflecting it over line one. So let's go ahead and actually do a little transformation here. We're going to reflect line one. I'm going to choose A and apply. And we're right there. Okay, so this is A prime. It also tells us to do that, label it A prime. Now we're going to label the distance between line 1 and A prime x because it needs to be the same distance. Now we're going to reflect A prime over line 2. So we are literally going to go and do another reflection. And we're going to reflect over line two, this point right here. We're going to reflect over line two, this point. Oh, well, it's probably too far over. Anyways, so here is a double prime. And if we look on this side of line one, line two, we have x, x, y. So we have to have x, x, y on this side. Now let's look. The distance between line and line two is x plus y. And the distance between, we're looking at a, to a double prime is 2x plus 2y. See how there's two y's there and two x's? So if we look right here, this important part here, our conclusion, line 1 to line 2 is x plus y, and a to a double prime is 2x plus 2y. Therefore, a composite reflection over two intersecting lines is a translation that is twice the distance between the two lines. This part in bold and this part in bold at the top, you have to have for each of your problems, preferably like just written right on your picture. It doesn't work quite as well right here for me. Uh, but those are the important parts. The steps are just nice to have, so we have them. Now I'm going to do another example. I have moved where A is. So if we look, we have A right here. Oh, I don't know why I made it prime. It's just A. There we go. And we have, this is line one, this is line two. Okay, so we're gonna do some stuff with them. First thing we're gonna do, just like the last one, is we are going to make a line that is preferably less like that, more perpendicular. So given line one and line two, draw a line that it's, is horizontal through A. Make the distance between A and line 1x. So let's go back to that. Make the distance between A and line 1. I'm going to draw in x. We're going to make the distance between A and line 2y. 
Now we're going to reflect A over line 1, and we get A over here, A prime. And we're marking that distance as x. It has to be the same. This distance has to be the same as this distance. So that's why they're both x. Now we're going to take a prime and reflect it all the way over line 2. So a double prime is going to be way over here. There's 2. Oh. And all of this craziness. I'm going to try to write that in again. Try to do that again. Here we go. Got a double prime. And that's distance is the same as all of this. All of this has to be all of this. So it needs to be x, x, y. So we'll just look at those steps. We label the distance between line one and a x. Label the distance between a uh, the distance between a prime and line two y. Then we reflected it and we got x plus y and 2x plus 2y. Therefore, a composite reflection over two intersecting lines is a translation that is twice the distance between the two lines. Notice this looks very similar to the first one. We're going to do one more. We've done a where it is in the middle. We've done a where it's in the middle again. And we're going to do A here, where we are going to move where that A is. We're going to move A all the way over there. So we're going to put A hmm. We're going to put A all right, we are going to do this differently because this is not working the way I want to. Let's see, here we go. We are going to label this A right here. We're going to draw in that horizontal perpendicular line. And then we are going to try this again. We're going to label this distance right here, X. We are going to reflect, this is line two, this is line one. So I'm going to label this in the middle, y. And we're going to reflect all of this all the way over here, and this is A prime. This is not drawn to scale, unfortunately. This should be much further away, but it doesn't work on here. And that's x, y, all of that. Now we're going to have to take all of this right here, and we're going to take all of this and reflect it all the way over here. Notice that there is an x already here, but I have two y's. So I'm going to have y, y, and then there is my a double prime, so that those are the same distance. And then we can see here, we've done all these steps. a to a, uh, line 1 to line 2 is actually y this time, where a to a double prime is 2y. But that still is We've doubled the dis distance between the two lines to get the distance between A to A double prime. So that is it for our proofs of parallel lines.